Hey guys, Tim here, Big Dog Forge, welcome back. So a friend of mine found an old bandsaw in a dumpster and he brought it to me and I think we're going to be able to put it to use. It's a Boyce crane, it was built 1926 to 31, 12 inch bandsaw and uh, we're going to try to see if we can get it up and running. It needs a little bit of work and we're going to do a series of videos as we go through that to get that thing up and running. So this is the first one and we're going to start by trying to build a bandsaw blade for it. It takes a 77 and a half inch blade, something that's not really readily available and I don't want to spend the money to have uh, you know, custom blades made for it. So we're going to see if we can do something like that here in the shop. All right, check it out guys, stick with me, should be fun and we'll see you at the other side. All right, bye guys. Okay guys, here's the Boyce Crane 12 inch bench top bandsaw and we need some 77 and a half inch blades for this thing and we're going to take a couple of old blades that busted on me that are still in good shape to test this with and we're going to make a jig so that we can try to resize these things because I can get uh, bandsaw blades locally that are uh, a little larger and if I can resize them down It'll be a lot better than having them made about a third the cost, as a matter of fact. So this is a piece of half inch by five inch wide mild steel. And this is going to be the base for our uh, bandsaw reconfiguration jig. How's that? And the clamps you saw in the beginning, we picked those up at Harbor Freight, they were five bucks a piece. And this is a piece of scrap. And we broke a drill bit. Let's get another one. There you go. Magically grew another one there. And what we're going to do is that those, uh, the footprint of those clamps has a four hole pattern. We're only going to put two. It, all it has to do is clamp down bandsaw blades while we're working on them. So not a lot of pressure there. And we're going to save a little time here. Lately time's been pretty precious. Okay, we'll get through this. I think this bit isn't quite as sharp as the last one. But it's getting the job done. take the corners off this thing so it's not so sharp on the edges and I'm not going to sand this down absolutely flat that uh, hot rolled steel tends to be a little thicker on the edges and that's fine we just want to get any burrs off so we can uh, tap this thing out and get our clamps mounted to it Alright, we need a guide along the edge to line our bandsaw blades up with. So I had a uh, about a 3 8 inch uh, four fluted bit that was already chucked up and I decided hey this would be a great idea. I can just run it down the edge, give myself a nice little backstop and about here I decided if I went twice as wide I could do thicker blades. and got a little anxious and busted it up. So we went to a, I think it's a three quarter inch, four fluted bit, and we're gonna do it all in one shot. And I'm just cutting this. There's no depth measurement, there's no calculating, there's nothing. This is simply a backstop to push the blades up against to keep them in alignment while we work on them. So I took a couple of passes. About the uh, thickness of the thickest blade that I have in the shop. And I didn't even mic that out. So it's just sort of an eyeball thing. And it didn't come out too bad. I have to do a little clean up. And we need to put a notch right in that area 
where the bandsaw blades will join. So they'll be sort of suspended in air between that. And we're going to use the same bit to just notch that all the way down, oh, probably, I don't know, eighth of an inch past the little backstop we just created. And then we'll open it up a little wider than this bit. Not quite an inch wide. started a little off center and so we're pulling the piece to the right and machining off just a little bit of that left hand side to make that gap a little bit wider give us a little more room to work with in there now I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I saw oh, a couple of guys make different things like this and I kind of took what I thought might work best for me and simplest and quickest and uh, sort of applied it to this. So this is not an original idea whatsoever. And I would never claim that. So just a conglomeration of different things that I saw on YouTube. And I have never done any bandsaw repair. I've always just got out and bought new blades. But I've always had bandsaws that had uh, things readily available for them. This guy's a little bit different. Which is good, we're learning something new and uh, we're gonna find out if this works or not. Get rid of the burrs from the tapping. All right, we're gonna put a uh, piece of three quarter inch square on the bottom of this, tack it in place, and it weld it good across the ends. And this will allow us to uh, clamp this thing in the vise while we're using it. All right. Those two guys go right there just like that. They got some little quarter inch bolts. Two in each one. Like I said, it's not going to hold a whole lot of pressure here. But those clamp screws that are sticking in a downward direction there need to be altered. They don't have a quite a large enough footprint. So I got a couple of pieces of uh, half inch. And we're going to clamp those right down on top of a blade that we're going to be using. So they're set up pretty close. They've got a lot of adjustment in them, so it's not that crucial. And then we'll tack weld those to the end of those screws once we get them snugged up. There we go. Now we'll keep our blade nice and flat. See, we get a bit of a different view going here. There we go. A little more overhead. Alright, so this is a blade we're going to join together. And what we did is put a little bit of an angled scarf on the end of those so they had some surface area. Now this is uh, flux and this is 56% silver solder is what we're uh, going to be using here. To silver solder these together. And that silver solder was about the cost of one saw blade. And I'll be able to get several saw blade repairs or reworks out of that. A bunch of them. There's quite a bit there. And like I said, this blade that I'm putting together here, it was a 64 inch from the horizontal bandsaw. And uh, it was brand new, broke. Um, almost out of the box right at the weld so I had another one that was in pretty much the same shape so I cut a chunk out of that to extend it to 77 and a half inches and um, we're gonna put two solder joints on this and we will Get it onto the bandsaw, bring it up to tension, and spin it around. 
but we're not going to have a motor on it, so we won't be able to run anything and cut with it just quite yet. All right, got a little die grinder out, and I'm just taking off the excess silver solder there, trying not to get too deep into the blade so that I can uh, make sure it slides between the guides. And one of the guides is still in halfway decent shape on the saw, and the other one is odd. I'm going to have to figure it out. But this will give us a great test for tension, just to see if the thing will hold together. And from those I saw doing this in the videos that I watched, it seemed to work out quite well. There we go. And this thing has a nice little tracking system built into that upper wheel. Works really well. And I did lubricate the shafts on that. These are uh, bronze bushings on this thing. There's no uh, bearings at all in this. Just shaft and bushings. And that seems to work really well. There's quite a bit of tension on that thing. So there you go, guys. Our first step. All right, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad. After watching a few YouTube videos and figuring this stuff out, um, came out pretty good. And uh, I think I can use that to uh, repair and fix and do my other bandsaw blades in the shop. So this will be bandsaw number four. So we've got quite a few of them, and uh, I think it'll be useful. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Um, like share subscribe and uh if you want to spread the love a little bit you can check us out over on patreon thanks guys appreciate you stopping by take care be safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye now